Have you ever looked at the layers and dimensions in a rose quartz stone? It's absolutely stunning. I'm Susie, here's my version. I'm gonna break it down and show you how I achieved that look. Let's get started. I've taken my nails down quite flat because we're gonna build this design from scratch. We're gonna use acrylic and gel to get that look. I'm using a collection of different products. I like to do that. So for my acrylic, I'm using exclusive nail couture and I've got chrome white to create that dimension of the white. I'm gonna say that's my first layer I'm gonna put down. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some liquid in my dish. Okay, so that's liquid monomer and this is my acrylic powder. I'm working with an oval eight acrylic brush from Ugly Duckling. So I'm gonna get my tip of my brush all saturated with monomer. And then you don't want it too heavy. We're just gonna get a little bit of acrylic. And this is where we're gonna create the first layer of dimension. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. You're sort of looking for a sporadic sort of pattern. So I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna put some down here. rough edges and maybe sticking up a little. That's good. Now the trick with this white when you're laying it in, you do want it to dry before you put anything else on top because we don't want to smear it. We want it to stay in that shape. So I'm going to gather a little bit more white. And I'm going to put it over here too. Almost as if you were drinking too much coffee and you're shaking. <laughs> That's how you could lay it down. Give a nice kind of a sporadic kind of placement. No evenness whatsoever. It's just kind of chunky. I got a hit right there. Just do all the fingers. I'm going to try to go a bit of a different angle this time. Maybe just up and down. Remember, I'm trying to be kind of sporadic ish. I'm going to do the pinky. And maybe there's just a little bit here and a little bit down here. too thick near my cuticle, so I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. I still want it to be, you know, in the shape of a nail. And I'm going to do my thumb. So now this finger will be dry. So make sure you've done it in order. You know which finger to go back to. So I have selected two different colored pinks. I've noticed in the rose quartz crystal, it's got a kind of a corally pink and almost a see-through kind of pink. So in the exclusive nail couture products, I found a couple of acrylics that have those kinds of tones that I'm looking for. It's one of the most beautiful stones I've ever seen. So I'm gonna put a mixture of these two colors on my brush at the same time. So I'm just gonna move my white out of the way. I don't need any more white powder at all for this design. So I'm going to just use these two colors now to create the dimensions and the pink kind of coral color that the rose quartz has. So I'm just going to get a little bit of liquid on my brush. This is where I'm sort of building the nail now. But I'm gonna do it in two colors. So I'm gonna go into the dark pink kind of a corally pink and then I'm going to go into the lighter pink don't press it all the way in so it doesn't surround it but it adds to it then I'm going to put it on the finger 
and I'm going to blend this around the white, still creating my nail. So you can see the nail shaping. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to mix the colors up a little. So now I'm going to get a bit of the lighter version. Maybe just put a little bit of the dark color on it and go near the cuticle. And I'm going to start forming or shaping up the cuticle area. I'm putting it literally right on top of that white. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of liquid and just fill in that cuticle area over here, a little gap. You don't want your nails having any gaps. Now I'm going to do the same procedure for the rest of the fingers and just fill them all in. Because this design you're looking for dimension, you can clear cap the whole thing if you've got the design where you want. But I could clear cap just in spots because it's not perfectly arched and even yet that we create dimension when I file it, if that makes any sense. So right now I'm going to just fill in where I think it needs to be, but kind of spot fill it in just, and then I'm going to sculpt it to get a nice, smooth, even, perfect nail with the different dimensions that are inside the nail. So my main focus is the arch or the apex, and then I'm filling in extra acrylic for the strength. I'm going to file these and reveal the first dimension, and when I'm finished, we're going to start the second dimension. Right now I'm not looking for the design so much. I'm actually making sure that I'm shaping them perfectly and the design should just reveal itself. Just doing any little smidgen touch up so that looks pretty good. And it looks like it revealed some nice white and very dimensional stuff in there it's pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare them with my smoothie file. I'll just give them all a once over with the smoothie. Prepare it for my gel polish application. Okay, I'm getting excited now. This is where the design really starts to pop. Because right now it looks meh. <laughs> We're gonna take it from meh to really pretty. Okay, here we go. So what you need is, I get my little ceramic tile. And I need a white gel polish. In this case, we're gonna use Ugly Ducklings, number 44. Just let me get rid of some dust. Ooh. Let me get rid of my mask, I don't need that right now. So let's do the fun part. This is this is the top dimension, so we can look down into it once we're done. So 
going to take my white and put a little bit on this paddle, on this tile. Now I don't need a brush that's perfectly smooth. Like normally if I want a nice smooth line, I'd pick this one. It's perfect and I love that brush, but I don't really need it to be super smooth. So look at this brush. See how it's kind of crazy at the end? It's just like, ah, little bristles are everywhere. I'm picking that one because I want it to be a little bit scattered. So I'm gonna dip into my white. a lot just a little and you want it to be kind of veiny and sporadic a little like that okay so just put a little bit in there you know if you could sneeze at the same time that would be perfect that would make a perfect look stones in general they don't have any pattern that's the same as each piece so there's no wrong here just your interpretation right see the bristles are all spread out it's creating more lines I like that that looks really cool Put a little across the bottom. Now let's go to the thumb. I'm gonna kind of follow the white a little. Go like that. I think I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so here's the cool part. I'm gonna get myself a top coat. Now, do not cure or nuke this white stuff that you've just done. We're going to put the top coat on it first, and that's gonna create yet another dimension to blend this all together to look like the stone. So this is where the design, to me, it all comes together. I'm gonna to start down at the cuticle, and I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna pull it. And what it's doing is pulling on the white and it's actually causing it to look more smeared, more faded. See that? If you look at that stone really closely, that's what it does. Just pull that design right down. Let's try pulling it sideways to have a different Oh yeah, look at that, eh? I'll do it sideways, and then I'll go over the whole thing to get it everywhere. That's really pretty. Now let's do the thumb. Maybe I'll try the sideways move again. That's cool. And then I'll go straight down. really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a quick nuke. I'm gonna move this so I don't nuke that onto my tile. Okay, let's check out the reveal shots. Well, they're so cute. I really like them. That's another reason why I went for the round shaped nail to sort of give the illusion of the stone. I think they're really cute. I'm gonna wear them for a while. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey!